Yo, okay, like we need to talk. <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> All right, what is going on, guys? <clears throat> this is your boy, the Death Smasher, back again with another raw recording video. Basically, semi rant, and then we talk about the actual mid month banner that is going to be uh, coming out within the next uh, three more days, which is actually quite interesting. I never expected that they would go out of their way to remake the Zanpakuto characters from the Zanpakuto filler arc, which is nice, at the very least, once we get the remake of Muramasa, I hope he's good, because I would actually want to pull for him. But anyways, <clears throat> go back- Excuse me for the stutter. Going back to what I was saying, if you guys did not know, yesterday, on Global, we could not access the game for more than seven hours. And that also had me hella triggered, hella, hella, hella triggered, because when the last time Inheritance Trials was on, which was basically around um, 2.30 p.m. that started the issue, I was basically going out of my way to link slot my Mugetsu right here, and I got no work done on his second slot, because I was just getting started, did a good couple sessions instead, I didn't even get one level, I didn't even get his second Link slot leveled up at all, it's just so bad because of the fact that the issue happened, and of course, I had all my tickets that needed to be used up and whatnot. It infuriated me, because I also wanted to start working on Ukiora. I would have gotten him 15-15-15 by now if it weren't for the issue. And Caleb has actually addressed it, but here's what we get in return. Like, you guys want to know? Like, it's gonna be the typical five orbs, like, that's all we're getting. I'm like... What the hell are you guys doing, Caleb? What the hell are you guys doing? For all of this, we get five orbs as a compensation. Not even half a single. Bro, do you guys not realize that so many people have actually missed their GQs because of this actual bullshit? Okay, look, I'm gonna start saying swear words right now. I'm not censoring anything here, lads, because this is very annoying, but yeah. We will also provide compensation for all players who were unable to log into the game as a result of this issue during the period shown below. For players who were unable to claim any login bonuses, the login bonus count will be adjusted and any login bonuses that should have been claimed will be sent to all affected players' gift box. Any daily or weekly orders that prove difficult to complete will be treated as having been completed and any rewards that should have been awarded will be sent to all affected players' gift box. We, we didn't ask for this. We didn't ask for this. Like, do you guys not realize that... Bro, I want more than fucking five orbs. Like, I want an actual compensation for this. Like, give us more than five orbs. Give us freaking 50 while you guys are at it. Like, we couldn't log in for the game for, like, more than seven hours. And people in Asia and Japan were like, okay, let's just farm the crap out of IT. Just what the hell, lads. Just what the hell. Anyways, we have the mid-month banner coming in. The Zanpakuto Alternate Tales uh, Summons which features Zengetsu, not Tensa Zengetsu, the actual Zengetsu with, that is actually wielding the Tensa Zengetsu, if you guys know what I mean. This is the filler arc, so this was before Tensa Zengetsu was even canon in the anime. And then we have Zenbon Zakura, and Sode no, Yishida, blah, 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 Sode no Shirayuki coming into the game. Which is nice, because I'm not gonna lie, all three of these characters need a remix, especially Sode no Shirayuki. I'm sorry, but like, this girl is not usable if you go out of your way to use the OG version. At Zengetsu, we already have like the Sinkaman Zengetsus, but I can understand that, no flurry, no guard break. It is a bit outdated, but like, it's alright. And Senban Sakura, also a nice addition. Hopefully we do get to the point that we get uh, the rest of the Zanpaktos, like Munamasa. I personally would like to see... who else? Oh, you know what? I wouldn't mind seeing Tenken being playable, but, uh, anyways, uh, just like any other banner, this is going to be the main banner that features all three of them, and then we have the individual banners, and it's going to be following the exact same rates as, um, Spirit Society, where it's like, uh, for the individual banners, 4% chance to get a featured character, 1% for the other character, and whatnot, and, uh, going over the individual banners, 
Okay, so, uh, Sode no Shida Yuki's banner is okay. Like, it's got Fierce Battle Ukiora and Fierce Battle Ichigo. Makoto is just there just to pretty much piss people off for when you guys pull him. And then Senbon Sakura. Yo, Senbon Sakura's individual banner is also quite good despite only having, well... <laughs> actually, yeah, it's actually very good. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Like, it's got Amagat, it's got Toshiro, it's got Fierce Battle Kampachi, very good banner. Zengetsu's banner is, eh, uh, like, sure, hu Human Killer Retsu is good, but Quincy Ichigo is severely outdated and Fierce Battle Aizen, he's only gonna be good when at 5 out of 5, but I kinda, do, I, 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 uh, I, I, uh, don't mind me stuttering, okay? This is what happens when I do raw recording footage, <laughs> but, um, yeah, basically the same, uh, rate as Spirit Society, 4.5% chance to get a featured character and 1.5% chance to get another character. And uh, here are the characters that we have on paper. So Zengetsu is a melee strong attack character with weakening on everything. He also has the innate abilities of Reed Aronker dodges. Wait, hold on. I just realized. This dude is hard too. Why are we getting another Transcendence Zone that is hard? Like, what the hell? Okay. Actually, wait, is this the first character to get the Reed Alonker Darches for heart? Yeah, okay, it is, it is, because the last one was like Noitor and whatnot. Okay, so yeah. New skill, team, party, heart, attribute, soul reaper, strong attack, damage, plus 20%. That's actually a very good skill. This is definitely going to help buff up the likes of Mugetsu, Shuhei, uh, uh, Chojuro, Nanao. He's going to be buffing up a lot of uh, good heart units, if I'm being honest. Especially since it's mainly filled up with soul reapers. So... Yeah, it's fine. Strong attack recharge time of minus 12%. He's got fire and freeze immunity as the innate skills. Pretty good. You know, hold on. This is actually very good because I remember Melee Aronker Week actually had the freeze pool. So, you know what? He's definitely going to be a viable option to use if you don't have the likes of 5th Anniversary Ichigo. Okay, so yeah. Berserker, 20%. Bruiser, 20 Frenzy. Damage to weaken enemies, plus 20%. And, of course, the new skill and sprint plus 2. He's looking out to be a very good character. My only complaint is, where's the Havoc at, bro? <laughs> Literally, you guys have an extra skill to be able to give him Havoc and he doesn't get it. Also, please buff up the Berserker to be at, to be at like 40%. Like, come on, it's kind of getting a bit outdated, but... <laughs> uh, anyways, going over to uh, Senban Sakura, attack type, ranged, normal attack character. Wow, that's it? That's it? Nothing new? Okay. Uh, okay, so he's got 773 attack with a focus of 356, uh, 46, excuse me, I, I, I suck at reading, <laughs> not really, but yeah. Damage reduction, bruiser 40%, flurry, berserker plus 50, devastation plus 40, sprinter plus 1, poise, follow up, no card break, come on. His character could have been just as good as Kian Fear on World Ginjo, but instead he didn't get guard break. <sighs> Sucks. That would have been an amazing flurry character. I'm not gonna lie. He'd be better than Owetsu, in my personal opinion, because range characters are always gonna be better than the melee characters since uh, you don't have to get up close and you can just snipe down. Instead, you need to guard break a lot with your SA, so. Very disappointing. Oh, yeah, the killers. I forgot to mention. Uh, yeah. Zengetsu, Soul Reaper with a Ronker Killer. Uh, Senbon Sakura, Soul Reaper unit with a Hollow Killer. And then Sode no Shirayuke. Shit, are you? Excuse me. All attack types. Okay, range, strong attack. All attacks, freeze. New skill, increased hard droplet, uh, droplet by 15. Seven. I don't even know if it worked. I have my uh, headphone muted. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she does have the uh, increased heart droplet um, by 17%. So, for when it comes to farming, uh, droplet trials, she will help you stack up those hard droplets like as if it's nothing. She's got the Quincy killer. This is the second character to get this Quincy uh, killer, which is alright. You know, the more characters we get, the merrier at the end of the day. Strong attack reaches time of minus 12%. Berserker 20%, Frenzy, Devastation 40%, Debilitator plus 5 seconds, Sprinter plus 1, Fire Immunity. Why wasn't this an innate skill? Like, come on, you, you could have given her something like guard break or something uh, i don't know what the hell caleb are actually thinking when it comes to making these characters sometimes they they need to make these uh, mid-month characters actually sell well because i'm getting tired of how we're still in like what 2021 these mid-month units do not get havoc and the last actual unit that was not an anniversary character to get havoc 
were the likes of Koga and Kid Byakuya. And even then, that was before the whole Havoc Berserker meta came into the game. Like, literally, that's all I need to say. And then the featured uh, five-star characters. Okay, so, it's funny how they skipped out on Desert Society, yet they are bringing it back for this banner. And they also brought back uh, the likes of Machine Society, Baruka, Retsu, and Lolly. It's a very good banner to pull for, I'm not gonna lie, like, maybe dropping a couple multis on this banner would not be a terrible idea, especially considering that you do have two Link Slot Potion characters for you guys to pull for, which is very, very insane. A Chronicle Quest bonus character, a GQ character, Keep in mind that Ryuka is also a Chronicle Quest uh, not, excuse me, not Chronicle Quest, a GQ character, so you can actually make use of that. Retsu is a pretty good unit, even though we have Daddy Ichigo being better, and then we have Lolly being a very good no affiliation killer for hearts should you guys still be lacking the likes of Mugetsu and whatnot, but it's a very good banner, if I'm being honest. I'm still a bit skeptical about the other 5-star character draw rate, but like, I'm still gonna skip. I'm skipping this banner if you guys didn't know, because like... As much as I would like to have Zengetsu, he'll come back as a filler. Like, just give these premium units time. Just like how uh, we got Fierce Battle, Grimjow, Ikaku, and Edrad on the actual fillers for, um, uh, what was it, Spirit Society? These characters will come back too, so it's good at the end of the day. And matter of fact, we also have the gameplays on the official uh, YouTube page, so we may as well check it out right now. So <clears throat> let's go over it, so... Hold on, let me lower down the volume. And there we go. I already know what the... I already know what the data mines are like for the characters, so... Yeah, let's just go ahead and react over the gameplay. Yeah, let me just get through it. That artwork looks, looks great for Sode no Shira Yuki, I'm not gonna lie. Very good. Yeah, Quincy Killer. It's something gonna be useful for Sinkaimon quests. It just sucks that this character is not going to be too crazy good for Inheritance Trials because you do need Killer. But for everything else, such as Inheritance Zone, you can use her just fine. Just get her SP to level 10. Run the Rose Link, Retsu Link, and like um, any type of uh, Mind Link you have that has like SP level 10 and then you're good to go, so... It's alright. Uh, we know what the skills are. Okay. Okay, here we are in the gameplay. Okay, the normal tag damage string. I mean, obviously, you're not going to build her as a Nat character because she doesn't have guard break and her bruiser is quite low, so not recommended. Okay, yeah, she does have the beam forward. It is the same uh, SA1 as Swimsuit Apache, but because she doesn't have Havoc, it is a width and length of a thousand. So, do keep that in mind. Not too crazy, but, uh, oh well. The second strong attack. Yeah, definitely an 800 uh, radius cone-shaped attack. Very good. And then the third strong attack is full screen. Very good character. Like, I've got no complaints other than the fact that she doesn't have Havoc or Guard Break, in my opinion. Okay, let's watch the special. Very good. I think the special was actually quite good, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> bro. <laughs> Senbun Zakura! Hey, you okay, bro? Like, aren't you imitating too much of uh, Cervantes from Soul Calibur? Still, I like the artwork, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the model is also looking quite good. Oh yeah, he also has a 20% damage reduction, very good as an actual link. When was the last time we got a tech character with 20% DR? Was it Kensei? I think it was Kensei, I could be wrong. But um, yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, continue onward. Okay, hold on, that was the Nat String. The Nat String is looking quite nice. I mean, it is a Nat character at the end of the day. Let's see how the strong attacks are. <sighs> Bro, never give these Nat Flurry characters 40% mag push back attacks. Like, you guys have no idea how much it would slow down the run for these Nat characters. Like, you need to push them back all the way to Kingdom Come, and then you need to get up close and attack. Like, come on. Second Tron attack. Yeah, this does seem uh, akin to the likes of Fierce Battle Ukiora, where it's like the 625 radius attack in front and um, starts off 
Or is it similar to Canfion or Loopy? It seems more similar to Canfion and Loopy, but like, at the end of the day, it's just a guard break with that second Tron attack of his. And then the third Tron attack is full screen. I do like this, the visuals, the... I keep on starting. I do actually like the visuals for Zen Bonzaku. I think they're actually quite neat, it's nice. I've got no complaints. My only complaint is that this dude did not get guard break. But let's watch the special. I don't like that special, I'm not gonna lie, like, it kinda seems a bit disappointing, but... I see you, Zengetsu, I see you. <laughs> I like the stance, I'm not gonna lie, the artwork is so good. It feels so weird to see Zengetsu wielding Tensa Zengetsu, like, I know it's a filler arc and whatnot, so I get it. I get it, but I still stand. Okay, the normal attacks. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't have long reach. It's alright for what it is. SA1. Yeah, it's the 475 radius lunge. Good. Second strong attack. Yeah, this is definitely the 800 radius in front. And the third strong attack is full screen. Yeah, Zengetsu is easily the best in Banner. Uh, Sodeno Shirayuki, excuse me, I keep on uh, pronouncing her name wrong, is second best in Banner, and uh, Senbon Zakura is unfortunately the worst in Banner. Like, don't get me wrong, Senbon Zakura can still be used just fine for ranged Hollow Week, especially if you guys don't have the likes of Ginrei, which I'm sure most of you guys will have by now, and of course the Steampunk Izuru, but eh, uh, he, he would have been better if he had a boost, if I'm being honest. Oh, let's watch the special, hold on. I'm not gonna... Okay, like... The first few instances of the special kind of felt bland, but then when Zengetsu started getting serious and started unleashing this the, 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 the Getsu Get 10 show, like, that was epic. Bruh, uh, hold on, let me look at his face. Hold on, I, I just want to see it for myself. <laughs> no, hold on, I need to see the face. He's like, bro, where are my popcorn at? <laughs> uh, okay, well, <clears throat> that ends the actual video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, simple yet short, actually, I'm really cold. <laughs> this raw recording video, talking about my thoughts. I think that K-Lab needs to really step up their game, because I'm not going to lie, I'm not liking uh, K-Lab's um, decisions and whatnot, and the fact that they've had such a big-ass technical difficulty, such as this, where the servers were out for global for like the past 7 plus hours, it was just so bad. I'm sorry, but like, K-Lab has gotten worse as an actual uh, d a developer, and honestly, I, th I think that has to pretty much do with the new lead developer. I'm not gonna lie, that's what I feel. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This has been your boy, The Death Smasher. I'll see you guys all in the next one. I'll probably do a Should You Summon video about this banner. I tried doing one for Spirit Society, but didn't have enough time to pump it out, so I kind of left forgotten, so yeah. Okay, peace out, boys. Zengetsu, I get that you want your popcorn, but chill out. <laughs> Bye.